hi hello welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is emma and today i'm going to be doing a video on a diy rattan lampshade hanging pendant lamp i will put a picture of my inspiration here as you can see someone else has already done this so i want to copy it and see if i can also make it look that good because i think it looks so cute i'm just outside of michael's right now you don't know it's a craft store so i'm outside of michael's i'm gonna go get all my craft supplies that i need and then i'm gonna go home and we're gonna make this super cute boho rattan kind of inspired lampshade pendant light thingy also it's the Disgusting out. Can I just say it is literally halfway through June? So it's supposed to be summertime and right now as you can tell I'm wearing a raincoat and it is pouring rain outside. Excuse me. No, thank you I got sucked into the boho vibes thing like look at this this rainbow thing so cute these decorative book these little frames This just says choose happy, that's adorable. That's really cute, I kinda want it. Oh my gosh, oh, a pink glow. I want this, I want it, I want it. How much are you? Oh, so much. I love crafts way too much and craft stores are like my absolute jam and I get sucked into absolutely everything. I wanna craft everything, but I just honestly don't have enough things that I actually need that I can craft. You, you understand? Like, I don't need to make a lot of things and just have a bunch of random stuff I don't actually need. Okay, so I'm looking for quarter inch, which this is, but like this package has only 15 pieces. It's $5, which I mean like isn't amazing. Oh, I don't know. Or, or we can get full on like sticks this long. I don't know which one's better. So the wooden dowels were like ridiculously expensive. Um, so I'm gonna order them off of Amazon because they're way better price. We'll resume in a few days from now. Okay. So, it is a few days later now because I had to wait for Amazon. It was two day shipping. That took longer than two days. So like, what's up with paying for Prime? Anyways, my supplies I will go over now. I got embroidery hoops, four of them to be exact. So I got two 10 inch ones and two 14 inch embroidery hoops. They're like four or five bucks each. I think these ones are like two bucks. So they're like pretty inexpensive. You can get them at Michael's or like probably any craft or sewing store. I watched a video and this is what I'm copying. So I will link the video down below. Um, let me find the YouTube channel name because I will definitely forget to link this down below because I am terrible at that. Okay, so the channel name is Lone Fox and he does this lamp. So I'm gonna copy him. Emma, this is a reminder to yourself. Link the YouTube video down below for everyone else to see. Anyways, he does 12 inch and eight inch ones. I wanted a bit of a bigger lamp. So I did 14 inch and 10 inch ones. And with embroidery hoops, you actually get, you get two things. Do, 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 do. They come apart. I'm only interested in the inside one because it's a natural full circle and the second one isn't. So that's why I had to buy two. It may look like they come all together. Don't believe it. Don't trust it. Went to the dollar store and got my handy dandy glue stick. Hot glue gun. That's not a glue stick. I have not done crafts in a while. I went to Ikea and I got this lamp. It was $5 for this. It's a wall plug in one because I'm not like putting this in the ceiling because I'm renting and it also has like a little switch on the cord, so that will be handy. And then I have this extra light bulb. If you watch my bedroom makeover video, you will know that these light bulbs are in our bedroom. So we have two hanging lights on our bedroom, like night stands. I will link that video up here. No, up here. I think it's up here. I will link this video up here. There is like a cute boho theme as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested in this. So extra light bulb, it's a big, like you can tell, huge light bulb. It's like a light, nice, um, it's a frosted light bulb, so it gives off a little bit more of a warmer tone, and I got like a warmer tone light bulb. Then I got this big honking thing of raffia, um, I don't know, ribbon, string, paper, string. This is what it is. Kind of just looks like hay, so paid $10 for hay, basically. Here we are. This is all from Michael's minus the light thingy. No, you know what? Not all this is from Michael's. 
It wasn't gonna take too long. It was gonna be fast, but it was gonna be expensive as heck to get this at Michael's. They're like wooden dowels. You see that? It's a wooden dowel, nothing super exciting. It literally is just like a gigantic chopstick, basically. You either get a pack of 15 for $5 at Michael's or a pack of 100. I think it was like $25 on Amazon. And I needed a lot, so naturally went with the Amazon ones. And I have 100, and I'm really hoping it's gonna be enough. I'm a little nervous to start because this was really expensive. It kind of added up. Once you start a craft, you know you can't like go back. But I think we're just gonna have to go for it. I hate ripping tapes off of things. Gives me so much commitment issues. Ah. You know what? This is gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Worst case scenario, if I hate it, I can sell it on Facebook Marketplace because someone else will appreciate it more than me because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Perfectionist. Wow, I cannot talk. Took the outside bad boy out. This is my 14 inch one. I'm just gonna start by making sure I get the dowel so that I have enough for later on as well as for right now. Okay, so basically I think my plan with this is to like loosely just kind of place these around the dowel. I mean like if you buy enough, you don't even have to do this, but because I just didn't want to have extras, that's what I have to do. I'm just gonna start placing them around to make sure that it's like even spots around the circle right where it's actually like touching the wooden circle. So I'm gonna do half the circle and then I'll just make sure I double whatever I did for half. I could even do a quarter. Maybe let's do a quarter. As you can see, I've just like placed it around the circumference of a quarter of the, is that a quarter? That's a quarter. Okay, so apparently I need 15, which means I would need 60 in total. These are 12 inches long, like foot long or ruler long. So for the big hoops, it's gonna be like this big. But for the little hoops, I don't really want it to be that tall. So I'm gonna cut them in half so they're shorter. So if I have 40, I technically have 80, which is way too many. I will do 70 around the big circle and leave 30 for myself to do around the little circles, which will be 60, which means they will look relatively even. Quick math. Now for the fun part, I get to count these out. Third. Put these aside. Now I gotta commit and open my raffia. Where is the end is my question. This is gonna make a mess. This may have been a terrible idea. This is way too tangled up. It's not gonna work, but that's okay. I have backup raffia. I did order this from Amazon. The Michaels raffia was a better deal. However, this stuff is gonna be easier to like actually wind around. The width is more uniform, plus it's in a nice little bowl. I'm a little scared this, no, it'll be enough. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Start. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wooden dowel like outside of the circle, take my raffia, and then I'm just gonna twist it around. Okay, so, can you see that? It's like twisted around. I've done like some X's around it. It's not very secure right now. We will hot glue gun it later, but for now, we wanna don't wanna commit to spacing until we can see fully at the end what it's gonna look like. Okay, I redid it so it looks prettier. It's like a nice pretty little X and we can glue it down later. Now, that's how we roll. like spun around which I highly suggest instead of like a gigantic bundle because it was so tangled up I could not use it. I'm using my paper towel roller so that I can just roll it off because I'm pretty sure I have footage of me really struggling because I got that super super tangled so fast and I just kept unraveling. This is what it looks like at the moment. I don't have any of them glued in and I've just stuck them straight through. They're not going to be sticking that far up from the rim but you can just see the raffia and how I've done crisscrosses around all of them. around the 
whole entire thing. That took me so long and I have to do it three more times. This better be cute. It's looking pretty cute in my mind though. Right now I'm trying to, trying to stand it up. So I was gonna glue hot glue gun each bit on the inside just to make sure that it sticks and like right now they can like pull in and out. So I'm just trying to make sure everything's even and stuff before I glue it into place. And then I will do the same thing on the next embroidery ring. I finished hot gluing the first row. So I literally just put like a little hot glue dot on the inside so you can't see it. Now what I'm gonna do, instead of doing the raffia and then hot gluing, because they're all spaced out properly, the dowels, I am going to glue the embroidery ring right inside and then I will do the raffia afterwards, which will be a lot easier without wooden dowels flying all over the place because this is so hard to make look pretty. I think the hardest part is done. Uh, this seems kind of hard. Hey, Rylan. What are we doing? I need you to hold this while I glue it. You're literally standing right in the So, your handy dandy assistant, who you hopefully have. The hard part is, is I gotta make sure all these dowels are parallel to each other. I gotta take my time while also moving fast because hot glue dries so fast. I hate all the stringy bits that come from hot glue guns. But if there's glue sticking out and like pushing out, it's fine because the wrap is just gonna wrap around it anyway. What I did is I glued one wooden dowel down and then I got Rylan to hold the ring parallel to the ground, flat to the other ring, I guess I should say. And then I tied some strings, some of the raffia around just to hold the ring up so I can go around. I definitely didn't fully space these really amazingly to be completely honest. Kind of no turning back now. Okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. As you can see, this is the first bit that I did with the raffia on the top, and right now I don't have raffia on the bottom. I'm just starting right here, and I gotta wrap that all around now. It is gonna take so, so long, because I have to weave it in and out of each single one of these little doodads. It looks pretty good though, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I feel like this looks like something I could see at a store. Avery thinks so. Biggest one done, one more to go, but here we are. Pretty good, pretty dang sturdy too. Look at that, that's so fun. So now I'm just going to repeat all of that on these guys. Luckily, much, much, much smaller. Still annoying. So I ended up using more than 70 on the bigger rounder one because I was like, oh, I need equal bits for both of them. But then I realized I, don't because um, a smaller ring for one, so less circumference to go around. Actually, that is the only thing. I went to go pick up the remaining dowels and I was like, oh no, oh no, I don't have enough. What have I done? I have messed up. Now I gotta order more and I won't get to finish today. But then I remembered I am going to be cutting these in half. Um, so I shall do that now. So they're 12 inches long, so I'm gonna cut them down to six inches each so that I have twice the amount of dowels. I am gonna measure it, and then I'm gonna use my garden shears because that's the best I have. Okay, so while I'm also at it, because the ends are so jagged, I have some sandpaper here, and I'm just gonna go and sand the end of them all down just so they're nice and flat and not scratchy because ain't nobody here for scratchy chandeliers. I really don't wanna do this part to be completely honest. So I'm just did that. It's not perfect. It definitely doesn't look as nice as the other side, but I will make sure to put the uncut side on the bottom half because this is a hanging pendant leg from the roof. So then the ugly bit will be on the top and you can see it. While we're here, if you wanna hit that like button because this is a really cool DIY project and I've actually done like a really good job and you wanna congratulate me, you should probably hit the like button down below. And then also subscribe because I am uploading a very, I would say very requested video next week. It is gonna be Avery's birth story in celebration of her turning one. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see that and click the post notifications so you don't miss when I post it. I have finished, I have my two pieces. So I have the shorter stems on this one. This is the 10 inch rings. And then this is the 14 inch rings with the full 12 inch long dowel. I think what I am planning on doing is I'm gonna stack it to have the smaller one on top. Now, this is where it gets confusing because I'm trying to figure out a way so that they're attached somehow and stacked on top of each other. But also still, a way that the light can go inside 
the lampshades can like actually hang off of it. I have some extra dowels that I was thinking about some way doing some and attaching them, but I don't think that's gonna work because that just seems like it's not gonna be strong enough. Ironically, this teeny tiny thin string is probably gonna be the best option. Here we go. If we can see in there, you can kind of see triangle that I did right there. So I just did three strings across and made sure that the triangle was right centered. And then this bulb, when I pull it, so when I hold the bulb, it holds itself centered so it hangs not crooked. And then I literally just placed this other one on top of the strings and the strings are really strong in holding it. I was gonna attach it, but this looks so much cleaner that I kind of want to leave it. And I specifically got a white cord so that it would match the vibes as opposed to a black one. Okay, now that I'm sure it's really good when the light's on. That's cute. That's very nice glow. I feel like I'm holding like a weird snake skirt. I can't believe I made that. That's crazy. I made that from scratch. Finally finished the lamp. Only took me like solid eight hours of non-stop i took a lunch break and that was it so basically just did full time to make that lamp luckily it turned out really cute so it was worth it i still haven't hung it up in avery's room yet because she's sleeping and i have to wait until tomorrow morning which is the most frustrating thing ever but we did it and i honestly don't really want to clean anything up but i'm going to thanks so much for watching bye